Hey, cunts, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you don't convince uh, motivated sellers, you're fucked. Okay? Now, you've got a lot of experience because you've made a lot of presentations cumulatively to all these people. Motivated sellers. So, you heard about the hub and spoke. You live in uh, uh, Munich, 200 kilometers from Munich. You live in Atlanta. You want to be able to get there and back in one day. So, two, two and a half hours drive one way. And you also need to manage these. And in the beginning, you're, uh, you have five facilities. Andreas, I checked. Andreas is going to each facility once a week. And he's a little lap, and he's working seven days a week. He's got now nine, so now he's gonna, you know, he's gonna have to better manage his time. You're doing that for t- t- a couple of reasons. Number one, you're gonna learn a little bit about the business, only a little about the business. Uh, and number two, you're, you're making sure that, uh, uh, you know, uh, everything's not going to hell in a handbasket. Hell in a handbasket. And your accountant uh, and your um, uh, expert in the field are helping you set up new systems, procedures, etc. Because some of these, this is no bullshit, collect their money in a, sh- in a cigar box. They, they literally collect their money in a cigar box. Um, now, the, and, you, and as soon as you, you acquire them and it's final, um, you will now start to systematize and get ready for an audit because you, at the end of one full year, you're going to have an audit of all, all your companies because you want to be prepared to sell. Because if a crazy private equity guy comes in and offers you 10 times EBITDA right away, you may hit the cash register. But you, you will be able to sell at a much higher multiple with audited numbers. Audited by somebody worth a shit. Now, this is not part of the due diligence, and this is not part of the delayed fees. They will not do an audit on delayed fees for the reasons I've explained ad nauseum in the last couple of days. So now, you, uh, as uh, Andrea said, there was several hundred or far a dozen, whatever the number was, within 200 kilometers of where he lived. And now uh, the, um, he's going to them. You go to the least likely to buy first. That's why his first two deals were in the hundreds of thousands of euros. Okay? Because if you're going to step on your dick and fuck up, you want it in the small deals, not the, the bigger deals. And lo and behold, except for the first one that he thought was a motivated seller, as he explained, <clears throat> and it wasn't because he was so thrilled, and you will be thrilled too if they say, oh, yeah, 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 I mean, you get all excited. And, uh, but ever since the first one, he sold every one. You build confidence. You know, well, Andres, you ought, to, you ought to close every fucker now. You know, and he has. Now, if I had said, oh, it's all right, you're going to learn. You don't know how to sell. You're just a fucking analyst. You got two, three years. You'd be broke in two, three years. So uh, the, um, he now is going, knocking them off one at a time. And he goes, uh, when, uh, and now, s- since Corona, he's making a l- final meeting in person, but the preliminary meetings aren't because he is on uh, Skype or Zoom. Now, you're going to find one or two board members that like to go to the meetings and are workhorses, you know, uh, and that's good. The, um, don't come with too many people, two is a max. doesn't have to be the same two all the time. Because you don't want to wear them out. And again, you don't wear out the chairman because the chairman comes in for the big problems, for the, the big, the sink, the big battleships. <coughs> uh, and the, um, and now he's got a system. He has adapted the, the, the system uh, or the, um, the links that you're given for due diligence to formulate his own quality of earnings report. And remember, okay, so now he's, uh, uh, he's got LOIs approved. And he's going in there, uh, finalizing the deal. And now on the bigger deals, he's bringing in the accountants uh, to do the due diligence. And, the, uh, and, they're, and remember, you're telling the accountants, if there's an amber flag, I want to know. Don't wait till the red flag the day before you uh, issue the final report. I want to know up front. Because the sooner you can get in there, and remember, due diligence is a euphemism for knocking the price down. Only one time in 50 years have I ever seen the price go up after due diligence. Only one. Once. And that was just this year. Um, and um, you, you lowball, embarrassing. 
offer. For some of your ethnicities, that won't be a problem. For some of you, uh, you know, carpet selling thieves uh, uh, from that part of the world, it won't be a problem. Lowballing, embarrassingly. For some of you, non, it'll be, you know, it'll be harder for you. Okay. But um, the, uh, that's why, you know, the, the Egyptian rug maker tells you uh, there's 9 million hours in every weave in this rug. You know, it took 300 years to make, uh, and that's why it's $4 million. And you offer them, I'll give you 50 bucks. That's the kind of, that's what we're talking about. And uh, for some of you, be no, <laughs> no problem doing that. Yeah. The four big in the world or in my, my country? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Four, four big. Big four. Big four. Big four. Yeah. Four yeah. big. Yeah. I'm a country. Yeah, yeah, they got them all there. Believe me, every one of the big four. Well, big four accountants. Uh, okay. Four big. <laughs> I like that better. From now on, forevermore is going to be the four big, the four big ones. Yeah, sir. So in a assisted living specifically, how, uh, like a business that comes with a building, right? You can't have assisted oh, okay, living without. Okay, okay. Then, then we, 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 got, we got a, a special deal for them. Fine, I understand, but I mean, uh, the, the bank won't allow, and this is true. Cash flow doesn't cover debt service if you had the building in. And it, 99 times out of 100, it won't. So you say, I, I, I'd like a three-year option on your building to buy at some specific price. Uh, and, that, um, and then once the business is built up, and then I'm still paying you the lease payment. So it's not like you're, not, you're losing any income because you're going to have to lease the building from or rent it, probably lease. Three-year lease with an option to buy at such and such. That's how you get around. But you want to be able to exercise the option with no prepayment penalty uh, before the three years. Because if the, when it rockets up like this and you see that cash flow covers debt service, then you want to take it off the market uh, before the seller realizes how fucking much more in value it's worth. Um, but in the beginning, you don't want property associated with it because something you buy four and a half times EBITDA, when you slap a one or two million dollar building on it, you're going to wind up paying six or seven times EBITDA but in the cash flow, invariably doesn't cover that. Yes, sir. Well, and you also end up with the issue that they're going to do a commercial appraisal on it versus a quality of earnings report. Yeah, well, we're not interested in the appraisal because we're not buying it. Correct. Correct. Answer your question? Okay. Was there another question? Okay, go ahead. In the instance that the due diligence uh, allowed for the purchase price to go up, and that seller, one time, yeah. Yeah, how did the seller find out? What? Are you from Israel? He was talking Are you Egyptian? Earlier. He was talking to me earlier. Though. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Because we told them. This isn't a fucking Harlem deal, <laughs> Cleveland mob deal. Full disclosure. Did I, didn't I say that before? This is transparency. This is not an Egyptian rug peddling deal. We tell them. And the way it did come up is this guy, successful guy, had five different businesses, the same accountant for 25 years. Healthcare, substance abuse was just one. And if you're listening to me, Tom, love you, talk to you later. And the, um, they were registering income and expenses into the wrong accounts. So this particular substance abuse, as I understand the numbers, was making a lot more money and they were shoving the income off to one of his other businesses because the account was a moron. And so when we did the due diligence, I wasn't there. When they did the due diligence, they saw that it was worth, you know, more money. So um, they paid more money. So that's how. But that, uh, this only happened one time in 50 years to me. And the, uh, uh, but somebody fucked something up. But we wouldn't hide that. We wouldn't hide that. And, and I wasn't an uh, integral part of the financing, but it fucked the financing up. Plus, they had to transfer licenses. Remember I told you, substance abuse kind of things, they have to transfer licenses. And, and that can be a problematic. Uh, so that's how it happened. Yes, sir. So in your LOI, are you um, agreeing to a multiple of the EBITDA, or are you agreeing oh, to a number? You. Thank you. 
It's a multiple spread, EBITDA spread, not a dollar amount. Thank you. That's, it's clear in the paperwork, but I mean, it's so in the, in the LOI, it's going to say uh, two and a half to 3.3 times EBITDA or whatever the spread is. And they will focus in on the 3.3 times EBITDA, and you want to pay two. But the spread, and it, it, the, the language is, is clear, and you want it to be clear. You don't want it to be not clear, because then they'll say, they're going to say they didn't understand anyway. But you want it to, in case you got to go to court, remember, you're in pre-litigation, litigation, or post-litigation. You, you fall into one of those three categories. And everything you buy is pre-litigation, litigation, post-litigation. Post and so you want to be able to cover your butt as, as, as well as possible. So you want your documentation to be clear, transparent. And, uh, the, uh, and the lawyers, don't you want a little wiggle room? Yeah, I want a little wi wiggle room, but I want it to be apparent, the spread that we're willing to pay for this piece of shit. And they know how to do it. Any lawyer that's worth his salt, uh, we know how to do it. Okay, so now you're going to these people within 200 miles of wherever you live, um, and um, you will, um, and you're going with somebody uh, that's on the board. I explained that, um, and uh, you're uh, getting them to, to to agree the price. And this is old-fashioned selling. Now you've heard like Frank makes one offer, comes back in a week. Okay. I made one offer and I stayed there. I've seen the sun set and go up, sitting at kitchen tables. Because I don't leave until I get a yes, uh, or I know the baby's dead. I don't leave. I'm a, I'm a one-strike guy, okay? And, uh, and I've been at uh, those kitchen tables with the coffee pots, uh, pot after pot of uh, coffee, and um, I wear them down. I wear them down. And does it work? You fucking A right, it works. I'm living example. I'm not the only living example of it, but I mean, it works. Uh, embarrassing offer. Stay there till you, the baby's dead or the baby lives. Now, they will get seller's remorse. You'll be 25 miles back to home and you'll get a call on your cell phone. I never got the, I, 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 back in the day, I turned my phone off. I couldn't take the calls. And I turned off the message thing, so I couldn't take messages. Uh, but seller's remorse does happen. In other words, the seller doesn't, oh, fuck, what do we do, honey? We work 82 years, blah, bullshit, bullshit. And I don't really trust that man. Uh, you, you, know, he, he's, uh, you know, he's Sri Lankan, he's German, he's fucking Dutch or whatever he is. And then occasionally you got to go back and reclose. Uh, and, um, and you do, and you reclose, well, Post Corona, it's going to be another something after Corona. You go and reclose in person. You got to get in the car back and drive. You know who else is going to give you a million dollars a deal? Right now you're doing dick. You go back there and drive, and you, you know you rehammer them. And the um, it's harder for them to say no the second time. It's even harder for them to say no the third time. And I've reclosed six, seven, eight times. Pardon? What's he saying? Penalty if you regret on the deal. Oh, no, I haven't got to the, the uh, success fee or uh, uh, not success fee, um, breakup fee. I haven't got to that yet, yes. But on a little chicken shit deal, there's not going to be any breakup fee. They're not, they're, they won't agree to a breakup fee. Uh, breakup fee means you're doing a $10 million deal and you, fu you fulfill all the requirements of the sales and purchase agreement. Uh, or the contract, and or the contract, and they decide not to, and then they got to pay a hundred thousand or three hundred thousand in breakup fees, which is uh, normally associated with what the bills uh, that you've run up with the accountants and lawyers to do the deal. Uh, but you still have people that will um, rather pay the breakup fee. You have other people that will fight and say that you know I didn't violate the agreement. Uh, I, I don't owe the breakup fee. Um, but yes, you, but not on, the, on these first size deals, you're not doing that. Yes, sir. So uh, assuming you're showing up at the kitchen table and doing some kitchen table selling, are you bringing like your pre-templated LOI with you and giving them oh, the, yeah, use, yeah, the yeah, used yeah, car yeah, sales yeah. sign here, here, oh, here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I got, I mean, I got pockets full of shit. I mean, 
You know, absolutely. You know, the, um, and it works. The old time, like W. Clement Stone sold insurance, the old time works. Sales works. It still works. And the, um, and there's nothing to be ashamed about it. I mean, again, who else is going to pay you a million dollars a deal in the beginning? Nobody. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yes. Oh. Is there a 72-hour, like, renege period no, on? Is there that. any of that? No, I'm just, no, I think no, it's no, vacuum no. sale. No, 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 no. Some states, not for selling uh, the, um, their business. Now, there's a 72, if they buy shit, and then they realize they didn't really want it, and you sold it to them, because I've been on that end of the continuum, too. Why did we want this 25 acres and, uh, you know, and there's no water in the lake and, you know, but, but not for this. No, there isn't. Yes, sir. Uh, when you're showing up there, are you showing up with just the LOI or are you showing up with the pre-templated full sales contract where you're just filling in blank? No, no, uh, LOI. Now, this kid's got potential. He understands the sales process. Okay. So now... Um, and you, you explain to them, remember, you started at 100% seller finance. And because they're going to ask, how long is this going to take? And I said, under the normal credit committee, blah, blah, blah. And don't lie to them. Four to eight weeks. And now it's slower because of the corona rona. And if you're doing an SBA, it's slower. That Small Business Administration or the equivalent thereof. And they have an equivalent thereof, SBA in Canada, the UK, and various other places. But you gotta find out what it is, what it's called. Um, and, they said, and then they said, well, how, can we do this any quicker? Then your eyes light up, halo comes around your head. Yes, we, we do have a, a quicker system. We could probably get it done in 72 hours. You got their attention. Seller finance, 100%. Seller's equity. Now, contrary to what you've heard, I, like, I, I, I always want them to have a lawyer. You've heard the other guys, they don't want a lawyer, but I don't like that. Because I've had that come back. Even though I've never lost one of those, you know, the, uh, because I'm not trying to take advantage of them that way. We're taking advantage of the system and the arbitrage spread between what we pay and what we sell. We're not taking advantage of these little dipshit mom and pop with 40 IQs. That's not the game. So we want them to have a lawyer. That's why we don't have the sales and purchase there. When we do that, the lawyer's sitting there. The lawyer's sitting there. Um, and, and then, you know, one out of three times, I'll say, could you explain that to me? And then I go through the explanation of uh, no money down houses. And they, oh, I remember they used to have infomercial, uh, explain that. And then uh, uh, the, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's like that, except it's no money down business buying. And this business is yours. And we want to do the right thing by you. Uh, some of you do schmooze it up more than I did. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm, even in business and in sex, I'm slam bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm not into uh, foreplay. So you schmooze it up as much as you think you need to, um, and mostly to feel you, make you feel good, not make them feel good. And you say, well, we can do it in three, four days, easy. And you can, except for when you're transferring licenses. But you will have known that before you're there, because it's a substance abuse, automatically there's going to be licenses. There's three or four other kind of verticals uh, in uh, assisted living, home care, where you have to have transfer licenses. And those you'll know. And so then you get, contrary to what Rebecca called it, a management, uh, what'd she call it? Yeah, no, we do a management contract, not a management clause, okay? And uh, where the money, you're running the business and uh, you're controlling the bank accounts and even though the license haven't transferred. That's easy. And that's why you, your lawyer needs to have done healthcare deals transferring licenses in the state that you're doing them. And the challenge or the problem with some of the big, big firms in, uh, bum, you know, in Oklahoma, the, you know, the, big, the top four law firms in the country don't have offices in Oklahoma. And so they're going to have to hire a, uh, a lawyer, which is fine. Remember, it's still delayed fees that has done health care deals 
transferring licenses in Oklahoma. Um, and um, some of the worst states to transfer licenses are New Jersey, Florida. Uh, some of the easiest states are Texas, uh, Wyoming, Montana, Nevada. Um, and, um, and then um, he takes, uh, or they take, a 100% um, uh, owner finance. And when you're there, back for the sales and purchase and the close, you're, you're changing passwords on the bank accounts. I mean, because we had a guy uh, named Chris who uh, thought he had 40 grand in the bank uh, up in Montana uh, last year, and he got there and there was eight grand in the bank because she paid herself a, a din dividend as she walked out the door. And so you want to make sure that it all gets transferred into your name or your accountant's name or somebody's name, not. And, um, and uh, so they uh, don't forget. We've had people take over. Uh, you, you heard, uh, or maybe no, uh, Gerard didn't say it on this time. He got there, and the pet hospital was emptied of all the drugs, syringes, needles, blankets, all the shit that you used to operate were all gone because he just took everything out. So you have somebody, from the day that that LOI, you're better off having somebody on, on site. So shit doesn't di disappear. When, the, from the, from LOI forward, you should have somebody on site. You can hire a security guard for eight bucks an hour. So all the shit doesn't disappear out the door. And there's certain ethnicities, again, <laughs> that you'll come back and there will not be a pencil in the building. Literally. Not a paper, fucking paper clip. And I'll leave those ethnicities to your own imagination. Um, yes, sir. No. No, no, you owe the debt to them. But you're using it as equity when you uh, present it to the bank. So, Correct. Exactly. So, how do you decide on the equity? Like that? Now, goodbye. I don't want to say this on YouTube.